Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the D.O. Boxing Show. I'm your host, Damien Ocposio, and this is episode number 53, and we're going to be talking about travel and medical insurance. Um, this is an important thing for all fighters. I'm going to be kind of targeting my talk towards Ontario fighters, Canadian fighters, um, but this is a serious thing for everyone. Um, so a lot of fighters are going to be heading off to the U.S. either to fight professional, have some professional fights abroad, or um, for the ringside tournament, which is uh, taking place in Kansas. And one of the things you have to think about is insurance. It's, um, it's a topic I think that a lot of people ignore or assume that, number one, things won't happen to them, or assume, number two, that they're actually covered. So um, what, with, if you're with an amateur association, you're an amateur fighter, before you cross that border, you want to make sure that you're checking that you're covered for the tr with travel insurance and um, that you are going to be covered for any medical expenses that you might have, especially if you're going to be competing down there. You don't want to wait until something happens and then you find out. It's very, very expensive to have uh, medical services in the U.S. Um, just for an example, OHIP, uh, if you go to the OHIP site, um, OHIP only covers $200 a day for a stay in the U.S., and that's 200 Canadian. So um, with our dollar right now being um, at around uh, 70 cents, I think, um, to the U.S. dollar, uh, maybe even worse than that, $200 is not really going to go uh, very far in the U.S. And um, it goes up to, I think, $400 if you're having surgery and you need to stay in the hospital. Um, so for a surgical stay, I think it's 400 Canadian, but um, a stay in a U.S. hospital can cost you, uh, you know, upwards of $1,000 a day um, staying. Also, OHIP doesn't cover ambulance in the U.S. Um, it doesn't cover hospital food in the U.S. So, you know, those are things that um, you're going to have to incur in terms of those charges and you're not going to be able to escape them. You're going to have to pay. Um, the other thing is you always want to look into you know, taxes, insurance. I'm going to go into taxes on, a, on another episode um, because fighters, you know, they're making money um, in the U.S. or wherever. And then when you come back, you have to pay tax on that money. And um, you may not, you may get away with certain tax situations for a year, two years, five years. But um, when the tax man comes collecting, it can be a pretty serious thing. Um, so back to the insurance side, make sure you're covered with the insurance. If you don't have if your if your boxing association doesn't cover you for insurance to go to the U.S. or to travel, then buy independent insurance. The amount you're going to spend on um, a temporary insurance is going to be minute, minute compared to even just one incident occurring. If you're not sure um, who to go through or where to get insurance, check with me. I can refer you to uh, excellent people that are not going to stare you wrong, um, that are going to be very honest. And um, you can always get in touch with us again at D-O-K-P-O-S-I-O -O or Posio at Hotmail. Ask any questions you like. I'll try and turn it into a future episode of the D-O Boxing Show. And in addition to that, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Damien Ocposio's YouTube channel for the D-O Boxing Show. You can also catch the show on the D-O app, which is available for free on uh, Apple and Android. And lastly, uh, tune in to episode number 37 of the D.O. Boxing Show for our first contest, which wraps up in March. And so make sure you give, your sense, uh, give yourself a chance to win uh, a free prize, basically. And we even mail it out to you, so there's no cost involved. Episode 37. Check that out. Uh, thanks for tuning in again. And uh, my goal is just to help build the boxing community, help uh, raise awareness to boxing and make sure that everybody is, you know, promoting themselves and um, and making money. That's the name of the game, um, as well as getting better at your craft, mastering your craft. Uh, thanks for tuning in to another episode and we'll see you on the next one.